is my Minecraft base, and I'm kind of rich. And I left it all behind to start from nothing. But today, I'm taking on my biggest challenge yet by building a Mr. Beast Burger restaurant and selling it for profit. Let's begin! Okay, that should be enough to fit it. Let's get a Beast Burger image now. So it uses a lot of cobblestone and a lot of brick. I need to go literally find my own clay because it's not for sale anywhere in the server. That means a lot of other players also want clay, which means it's probably even more rare. And if I look in the water, I can see parts that are already deleted by other players, which is probably the clay we needed. Oh, we found some. Oh, that was a lot of clay, dude. I think one more of those and we should be good. Guys, let's freaking go. We got enough clay. Now we just need to get some stone, maybe a little bit of food along the way. We're on our way to making a hundred million. All right, look at that. Still half a heart, but at least we have enough furnaces to make something happen here. 19, maybe I, maybe it's a little overkill. At least it's gonna be efficient because this is actually gonna be the kitchen. Oh no, you know what makes this bad? I, I needed that stone to smelt as well. And I made it all into furnaces. Let's go back to our starter base here and see if maybe I didn't take all my stone, but oh, oh, got that. All right, we're going to go for stone bricks on the walls. And then in terms of the scale, I wanted to actually face the beautiful sunset. So when they're eating, they get to enjoy that vibe with their romantic partner in Minecraft. So begin. Okay, now when I step back and I compare this to the actual Beast Burger, the proportions seem better. The whole front is basically pure brick. And that's a problem, man, because I don't have enough coal. How much can I make? <laughs> oh, eight. Wow, that's a lot. We can almost do the entire floor with eight. That's fun. Now above this is where things start to get really weird and really expensive because this is where we actually have to start buying concrete and concrete isn't cheap. $85 a pop, bro. And then a little bit of cyan. I would suggest that it's three by two for each of these little banners here. These are kind of like the Beast Burger banners. And actually, this is very two-dimensional. Usually I add depth to my builds. The real actual Beast Burger does not have much depth. This isn't even. We just need a little bit more of each of these, which sucks, but okay. Okay, now what we can't have is uh, unevenness. And so I guess for the perfect design here, we actually have to move this just one more over. Beautiful. Do you guys see the Mr. Beast logo coming through? But the thing is, I'm gonna be getting every single detail possible. And one of the details is this has pavement and a road in front of it. So let's go ahead and create some smooth. Wait, I think I have to. Okay, we definitely need to go get some coal. We can't keep working like this. Ah, oh, there's coal in this one. I think I saw it earlier and I ignored it and I thought, boy, I sure don't need that. I'll never need any coal because I'm not a noob. Here we are. Task force lover fill it out. Good, good. This is great. I'm out of stone again. That's fun. You know what I should do? I go back to my home base. I have a mine. Why don't I just mine? Oh, look at look at that. See? Mine for coal, my own mine. Onward. Hey. 30 coal. All right. Hey, three more bricks. The it seems like pretty much the rest of this is all brick. And that's a nightmare for me, to be really honest. Because that is the amount of brick we got in the time it took me to do literally everything that I just did. I realized actually, I think I made a mistake. The bottom is brick. Then there's like Mr. Beast awnings, and then it's more brick. So I need like purple and blue awnings there, which I don't know how I'm gonna make an awning, bro. Those are triangular. Now you don't actually get to see the side of the building. So I guess I'm going to assume that the front has the most money invested, and the side actually is made out of something like this. And then he also doesn't really give us a lot about the floor. So I kind of wonder if I should chop all these trees down and then use the acacia wood as a floor because I just feel like that's something Mr. Beast would do. He would like use a local tree and like, you know, team trees. He wouldn't like go out and buy wood. So we're gonna use the natural acacia trees to make this floor. That's our second shovel broken. Imagine how much nicer it's gonna be when we sell this and maybe next episode can upgrade a full diamond. That would be huge, dude. All right, that took about a year to do. Will the acacia planks even look good? I feel like they will actually. Oh yeah, I love that. That, that really does feel like a Mr. Beast Burger kind of vibe. Okay, we're gonna need a lot more of that. I, I think it lo honestly looks horrendously ugly right now and I'm really concerned that the end result will be embarrassing and everyone will be disappointed for this. This is great. Now that I have to go explore and collect wood, it's actually nighttime, which is fun because now it means all the mobs will be able to kill me. Isn't that great? I still need more. How do we need this much acacia wood? You know what? I'm sorry. I'm just going to have to dip into my savings. I don't want to go back out there and die. So I guess I'll spend 800 bucks for some more. It's a lot of money, but to me, it's worth it at this point. 
Finally! Floor is done. Now, the inside, we really don't know what it looks like because I, I've never been to the only shop that's like in freaking Minnesota or something. So I kind of got to make up what I think the inside looks like. I'm going to do my best. And I would assume he's got a massive amount of furnaces and ovens in his place to cook. Who would have thought the most challenging part of this build was just getting enough bricks to make the front of this functional? Bam. <laughs> we still need so many more. The fact that I've grinded for every one of these items, though, makes it a little bit more special. While we work on our walls, which need to be glass, which means I either need to buy glass or go find it. First, let's set the frame because we do need some frame here. Dude, now we're out of cobble. I literally can't finish anything because I have no items. I guess the good news is that we can keep adding small parts. And I know that on the front, he has this very interesting, like, I don't know what you want to call it. It's just kind of like a curb, like a little sidewalk right here. And it looks a little bit like this. That's supposed to be our sidewalk there. So that's actually the front of the building. Maybe next episode, we'll reach a point where I don't have to cook potatoes to survive because I'm going to go have to go find some sand and more coal so that I can smelt glass. And it's another dangerous journey. All right, let's go find ourselves some sand. Oh, look, there's desert. <laughs> that's right. I forgot there was infinite sand there. <laughs> no, I used a whole shovel down here. I was trying to make a weird like little serpent pattern down there because I thought it'd be cool. Shovel's gone, but we got some sand. Let's get smelting all the sand. I wish I could just buy it, but I'm broke, so I can't. Now we're out of coal, we're out of stone. We're out of uh, virtually every single item I need. Hey, 22 brick, that's fun. <laughs> only makes five. It's so unfair. I'm telling you, that'll, that'll get done eventually. That'll be done in no time. You won't even, you'll, you, you'll just look up. It'll be finished. You'll be like, Zach, how'd you do that? Hard work. Oh God, 54 of these. I might've went a little overkill on the old, uh, on the old sidewalk, but okay. There is also a road. So we're going to also have to make a three lane highway in front. We gotta do everything. If we can't sell this and people don't believe it, I'll never get back to being where I was before, which is rich. I think, oh God, that's so expensive, 5,000. Oh God, who's gonna bankrupt me? Okay, so let's make a road. This is about, <laughs> I don't even wanna imagine how expensive this was. At one point, one of the builds we're making is just going to pop off. We're going to be like, oh, it finally looks good. So I'm waiting till after I place all this to look up and see if this is the moment where it starts to look good or if it's still not even close. Okay, we're about 11,000 in the hole now. Just to give you an idea. Okay, oh, wow, that didn't do much, did it? Okay, I need a lot more than that. All right, make that 13,000 in the hole. This is unbelievably expensive to make a road. Now I get why they don't fix roads all the time in person. They're freaking expensive. It's also interesting because the Mr. Beast Burger doesn't actually really have a front door. <laughs> in the picture, there's no way to get in. So I'm gonna make our own front door and I'm gonna make it right here on the side. And that also allows me to wrap the sidewalk around, which looks kind of sick. The reveal is it still doesn't look great. However, what if we make this into concrete? Okay, that road looks better. Now will it work on this, I wonder? No going back after this. That looks so much better because his are not grainy. They're like solid colors on the front. That still didn't do what I wanted it to do. It still doesn't look good, but it's getting there. I, I really did not think bricks would be such an unbelievable problem. Like why, did, why couldn't you have used something simple up there? And now it's time to add some windows. <laughs> I'm out of glass. So the back wall, this is going to be the chef's part. So my idea is we can actually relocate our crafting table and like put some like really good details down in this area. So I imagine you would have a whole bunch of furnaces in the middle and then probably just some other miscellaneous furnaces throughout kind of randomly placed with some tables. I'm going to give them this entire half to be their kitchen. Some would say it's excessive, but you know how many customers they get. It's a lot. Obviously, they do need some cutting board space as well. Maybe a little bit on the sides here. And then we need our counter, which I think will look a little bit like this. We're one short, but it's okay because that's going to be the gate where the staff walk through. And this could be one of our workers. If I somehow get enough to put a worker down, then we need to get a gate. Acacia gate. And boop. All right. All right. That looks okay. That looks okay. So that's the foundation for all the windows. And then we'll come back into the chef's. You know what? I just realized I have not even claimed this. Should probably claim it so no one can just come here and randomly steal this from me because that would be a disaster. We're going to do some acacia doors. We're going to do a cauldron in the kitchen because obviously you need that if you're going to be working in a kitchen environment. Uh, it'd be kind of like a sink. So maybe right next to the chopping board here. And then we'll get our front door installed. I don't know how to do this well because of the fact that these are all slabs. So <laughs> that looks terrible. We're not going to do that. Something like that's not bad. It kind of casts cascades down, but I think one more. There we go. So now you can walk right inside of our new Beast Burger shop. Finally finish that up and now the other side. Okay, I'm going back to my starter base. We're looking for scraps here. Pretty much any block that I could get some use from, I'm going to take to the new base. So we got some cobble, which is what I needed because I'm going to do this entire top, I think, in cobble. I think it'll be a good little mixture of a bunch of different stone textures, so it should look pretty good, to be honest. I think it looks pretty good. Let's do this side now. 
So you can see it's got a very interesting castle vibe to it. Obviously no details yet. Guys, I hate to say this, but I think it's time I start spending some money. I've got to be able to compete with these players. And if I don't start buying things, I'll never be able to. Oh, I can't do this. $5,000 for a stack of glass. I would need to spend $10,000 just to get enough glass in this place. That's so crazy. Maybe I could at least buy the coal. Oh, that's fine. I'll buy two stacks of coal. That'll at least help us smelt. And then I can collect a lot of it myself. And let's see if there's any decorations for sale that I could use. Yeah, that's actually a deal, I feel like. You know, 64 lanterns for about 5k felt like a snag. I thought they would look really good. Right over these little windows, I feel like the lanterns are gonna look so clean. All right, we've got some light in here. We need a little bit more stone that needs to get smelted. It's only $1,000 for the stone where it's 5,000 for the glass. It just makes sense to me to buy the stone. The glass, not so much. There we go. Finish this up over here. You know what? It's not bad. Wait, how much is sand? Oh, that's what you do. You buy the sand, you smelt the sand, and then you don't even have to worry about the glass price. I need one more stack here. I do like my glass, as you guys know. Now, the Mr. Beast roof is actually a white block. So we have to kind of use our best guess as to what it could be. I gotta be honest, I think it's just gonna be white concrete, and that's bullcrap because I gotta turn all of the concrete into a freaking water, and uh, I don't wanna do that. I'm not even sure how to do this the most efficient way, but I guess we're gonna place it all down, pour water on it, and then break it. Oh, we spent $10,000 on this. This is not good. We're almost broke. We're gonna end up spending 15 grand on the roof. Oh God, it's, it's gonna be 15 grand, isn't it? It is. God, that hurts. Okay, I'm sure there's a much better way to do this, isn't there? This seems really inefficient. All right, well, now we break it all. Great, lost an entire pickaxe on that one. Do that again. I'm not sure how it's gonna look when I get down in there, but at least we're mostly copying his giant design exactly. I'm, I think I'm going, I think it's making me go brain dead. You know, as I get up here and look down, what we've already placed was about $10,000. I'm losing hope that this will fill in the entire roof at the moment. Sheesh. All right, this is the worst part of the build, hands down. This is awful. Okay, so th this is not just because I can't see the roof of his building, but because I'm assuming to save money, Mr. Beast is probably an intelligent man and probably made the very center a different material is what I'm assuming. I think if we go ahead and add a different texture here, it's gonna really help a lot and also save me from literally gauging my eyeballs out with a pitchfork, roasting them on a campfire, and then but we're gonna continue on anyway. And we will not be giving up on this journey because I have said that I will do it and therefore my word is my word and I will do it. All right, roof is done. Now my thought is for the back wall, I actually wanted it to be completely open. That way you can have a view of the mountain in the background. I thought it would be kind of pretty. So this is about to get expensive because... Actually, wait a minute, that was only one furnace. I think we have more. Yo, let's freaking go. We're gonna get this whole back wall done. Let's go. Boom! We're actually fully enclosed here. Well, actually we need a lot still, but uh, it's a start. We do now probably want to go in and finish uh, this portion. This is fine. Okay, I know this looks weird because it's not even, but his is not even either, okay? Now, I think I'm gonna keep it as actual gravel there. Too bad it doesn't look like an awning, but we'll figure that one out. Oh my God, this is so challenging. I think we'll put these lanterns. Oh, I missed it. That sucks. It is finally, after an unbelievably long amount of time, time to add the tables. Maybe acacia fences with heavy weighted pressure plates on top of them. My inventory is so unbelievably full of junk right now. I'm going to have to drop some items. So now most places, they're going to have a booth by the window. So we'll put our booths there. So window booths will be a little bit of a different material because usually they are because they look cooler. It does actually look kind of like some tables. We're gonna need some more chairs. We're gonna need some more seating, certainly. Hate to do it, but it's gonna have to be something like this. That's too close. Can't do that. <laughs> this looks kind of cool. Obviously, you would, would want a spot up here for like a line, so it doesn't want to be too jumbled. And then usually there's like a trash can by the exit. So I want to try to make like kind of a cool looking lava trash can that people could actually throw away. Because the more immersive it is, the more likely someone is to buy it. Maybe something like this right against the wall. And then we'll actually have to spend a little bit more money on the shop right now. That way we can buy some lava. And that's going to be for... Oh! I accidentally almost bought a stack. Boom! Now we have a trash can. I would think it would be valuable to label though, however, to make sure people understand that that's what it is. So perhaps a sign. Right? That's pretty good. Normally, when you go to a restaurant, there's some sort of a table with like condiments on it. And it also gives you a little bit of privacy between the waiters. Although I don't know that Mr. Beast Burger has waiters. We're gonna add that privacy wall anyway. And we can use this opportunity to add some glass on the inside of our building, just as a little bit of privacy. <laughs> No glass on the edges then. When life gives you lemons, get creative, you know? No glass on the edges, it's gonna be an art piece. And then on the top we'll have, oh, I don't know, a little bit of this. 
over here on this wall is the condiment wall. That's where it should be. Kind of like a little floating shelf thing, something like that. Now, I don't really actually own any condiments or details to put down here, so uh, we're just gonna kind of leave it blank for now because I can't afford to do any of that. All right, the entire inside is sealed. The only issue is the outside looks really, really bad uh, because he has like a beast logo. He has a couple other things. So I gotta put some time into making this look as good as possible. Guys, it's been over 24 hours and I've been working through the night to pull this off. And this is our new Mr. Beast Burger. So the outside of this base has a double door entrance just to make sure nobody can rob the place. And it really genuinely kind of looks a little bit like a Mr. Beast Burger. So now what I have to do is somehow get a player to come to this restaurant and purchase it from me with the hopes that they believe they will be able to turn this into a profit producing monster because I don't have enough manpower to, to run this myself right now. And so we're going to see if it works. I don't know if we're going to make the sale here. I'd like 100K. Here's our first potential buyer. Is this guy wanting to order? Is he like actually trying to order from Mr. Beast Burger? Like this would be pretty quick. This one, this is one I expected. Wait a minute. What would you like to order, sir? Burger. He wants a burger. We actually have an order. This is not what I expected. I don't have any food. I, I didn't th I didn't think someone would actually try to buy something, bro. I need to buy food right now. I'm going to lose my first customer. Uh, tropical fish? Buy it. I'm going to sell the fish. I, is it, I, I don't have a burger. I didn't prepare for this. I'm, I'm going to buy my fish. I'm going to see if he pays me. Like, if he does, maybe we could not sell this and, like, actually work at the restaurant. That will be 5K. Can I sell a, can I sell a $10 fish for $5,000? Let's see if he does it. Oh, he's, he gave it back. <laughs> he said, nah. He said, nah. 1k I mean take it take the fish I'm poor I pay 100 <laughs> okay dude take the fish give me 100 bucks and take the fish and he gave me my f okay he, he just ended up giving it back okay two new okay that guy came instantly left he saw it and said this sucks bro it's not that bad all right I get it it's not the best thing ever it's not that bad this is worth at least a hundred thousand dollars he said he'd rate it eight out of ten I mean this guy has some money I'll sell it for 75k I feel like that's a that's a 25k profit it's not the best build he said deal oh my god it's seventy five thousand dollars let me give him the base real quick let me give him the base real quick guys we're up to eighty two thousand dollars which means if I go back to my base right now and I have enough money to start upgrading it so next episode if you click right here you're gonna watch me open up a cat cafe in Minecraft and it's not what you think it is. Peace.